Dr. Hamira Kadari is divorced and Siwash is her only son. But on his national Afghan identification card, only her husband's name is shown, leaving her guardianship unrecorded. Now, President Ghani has signed a decree that a mother's name must also be included. It's symbolic, but I'm happy that step by step we're getting out of the stage where there was no identity for us. We have taken initial steps, and they're excellent, but there are still some women who are nameless and who will die nameless, and all their children are called by their father's name. None of them are called by their mother's name. A Tazkara card is the primary form of identification for Afghans, used for proof of identity, residency and citizenship. Many mothers say they have faced discrimination over their rights related to their children because they were not mentioned in official documentation. Including the mother's name on the Tazkara card will allow a woman to legally challenge for those rights. It will also help thousands of widows who have lost their husbands to the war and who struggle to prove their relationship to their own children. It is true women have support, but we want the full support of our government, which is yet to be achieved. The government must have a plan and place for women's rights. We can see some support in media, but it's often superficial. Maybe it will take time, but the government must bring equality in the system. Ghani's decree is a bold move in a country where saying a woman's name in public is often considered dishonorable and taboo. Former Taliban commander Akbar Akha says the law is un-Islamic, arguing it allows for a woman to have rights she is not entitled to under Sharia law. He adds many Afghans may choose not to register for ID cards to avoid recording their mother's name publicly. If we call someone by their mother's name, they will be upset. Generally, we're known by our father's name. In foreign countries where they don't know who the father is, they call a child by the mother's name because there's a lot of illegal sex. The law is being introduced as the Taliban and an Afghan delegation are debating the future of Afghanistan, including women's rights, during peace talks in the capital of Qatar, Doha. So while Afghan women may have won this round for recognition, many say the fight is far from over. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.